guys, welcome back to Portal Knights. First Hour, First Impressions, Episode 2. We are a wizard. Wizard. And we are back here at one of my bases, one of my islands. Uh, we have a kitty cat pet. Follow us around. He won't fight, he just follows us. So today I was going to show you a little bit of um, making gear. I was going to look here since I'm a mage. You have specific um, like stations for specific things. Mage. Like make stuff out of altar. Conjurer stuff. So yeah, so right now since we're and we can only use conjurer stuff. So it looks like we need cotton cloth, cotton cloth, cotton cloth. Just lots and lots of cotton cloth. So for the sake of just showing it to you. Normally you would need to just like farm cotton. Have cotton cloth. Somewhere. Uh, when I last played this game, guys, I uh, left off and I never finished my base because <laughs> I played so many hours of this. Well, I played this last in October, so last October I played this game, guys. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a while. So um, right now, I'm just looking for. We might have to actually just do our own farming because I don't see. Um, not anymore, anywhere, and that's kind of odd. Hard to find it. Usually, I have tons. A ton. Um. Anyway, at least that gives gives us uh, opportunity. Oh, it might be over here. Cotton. So here's cotton. There's a lot to this game. Like you can farm this or do that. There's tons of stuff. So with cotton. So what we do is find where we can make a cotton a brain fart in here by the workbench yep there it is, it's in the workbench, so like I said you need to go to the proper bench to, to craft things, so. We are going to need more cotton. We need a lot more cotton to make our uh, full set of gear here. Go back to here. Go to altar, conjure hat. So we can at least make one right now. So, our quest right now, guys, is to put on. Go to you this tab here. Your vanity armor. So you can actually make make your gear look different than what it is. You know, obviously with vanity. Um but for now, let's just go and do some farming like we you normally would. Um so pretty much all like the starter areas have uh, cotton laying about and what you want to do is just farm lots of wood and when you first start out farm lots of wood pick up the berries pick up any like seeds you see save for later I mean obviously you're gonna run out, run out of space if you pick everything up so what you're gonna want to do is just try to filter out what's important now cotton is almost always important just come up to here, whack it. There's berries, there's, there's just tons of stuff laying about. Right now you're gonna want that. You're gonna take the tree if you want. 
take the shrooms if you want. Take anything and everything that you want. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would just take, take it all. Oh, some slimes are attacking. Those evil slimes. Alright, I made myself a staff. Fire staff. So it does do damage over time, which is nice. Now, I forgot to tell you that there are three classes Ahi reset. Oh. There's Archer, Warrior, and Mage. And, um... Within each classes, there's like different weapons you can use. So, for mage, there's the staff, all the different staff weapons. There's the wand weapons, and then there's scythe weapons. That's like, weird. Like, what scythe? Yeah, you can use scythe weapons. So, it just depends on what kind of uh, playthrough you want to do. Now they are uh, they're not really dying too fast. I need to work on my DPS. Alright. Anyway, what we need to do is find more. More cotton. Tons of cotton. Like I said, if you if you're just starting out, grab all this stuff. Cotton, the berries, because those you can make into um, potions. Make all the wood. And if you are running out of space in your inventory, and you just want to take everything you don't want to feel like setting up a base yet, what I would do is, you know, get rid of all the seeds and seedlings, all this stuff. Um, and if you're not, like, if you don't think you're going to make potions yet, I would toss the berries. But I would keep the berries. Um, like that egg. I'd keep the berries. Because you can make potions. Potions. Minor healing potion takes water, red berries, and minor mana potion takes desert fruit and water. So, I mean, yeah, it's just up to you. So we have 18 cotton. Still need more. The cool thing about this game, guys, I know some people don't like it, some people do. But there's no durability on the weapons, so it's not like you have to be worried about it breaking, you have to craft another one. Once you make it, it's there. Forever. For good. Until you, unless you accidentally delete it or accidentally drop it. Um, it's there. Forever. Never, never, never. As long as you keep, keep to <laughs> take care of it, it will be there. So, some wheat there. Hey, basically, I could be doing this on like any other, any old place. There's like so many different worlds. They're all randomly generated, so they can be different each time. Got some coal there. You're gonna need that later for your forges. So grab any and all coal, all the ores that you see. Grab. Um, this is. I'm just thinking about like early on for you guys. What's important? Thinking little slime. Not very accurate, am I? <laughs> now, uh, max level is level 30. Oh, hang on, let me tell you real quick, guys. Remember I said there's three classes? Well, that's base. Like, if you don't buy the DLC, there's three. But if you buy all the DLC, like everything included, there is a total of five. There's a druid and, uh... Oh, something else. Druid is one of them. Oh, I think Rogue or something. I think. Yeah, um... That's only if you buy the DLC. So, technically, you just buy the base game. Three classes. So... Yeah. I think we should have enough cotton to make all the cloth that we need to get started. Oh, the enemies do respawn, if you guys are wondering that. The enemies do respawn. Um, so just be wary of that. 
Now, I am going to go back to my quote-unquote home. Just because I have all the benches there. But that's the beauty of this game, too. Like, if you set up a home base like me, and you're like, Oh, I'm not really feeling a warrior. Don't delete your world. What you do is just make a new character, and so everything you've explored stays the same, but you're just new class, new character. But if you do have a home base, you can just try a different character if you don't like it. Black tip for you guys. Let's make all this cotton to cotton cloth. Oh yeah, we definitely have enough. Definitely have enough to make all our starter clothes. Wow, 39 cotton seeds, that's a lot. Now, unfortunately, in this game, there's no, like, auto sort. I really wish there was, but fortunately, there's not. So you have to, like, sort it all yourself. If you're one of those people who are, like, OCD uh, about, like, what your inventory looks like, unfortunately, you have to sort it yourself. We made that conjure hat, conjure gloves, let's make. Pick it up, craft the conjure robes. You have to wait until it's done crafting before you click on something else. You can't, like, queue things up, you have to wait. That. And also, you don't get it automatically into your inventory, you have to click it into your inventory, like that. Then, you just come here, to this tab here. Or so, click that. Find your gloves, click that. Leggings, click that. We don't have a cape yet, or a ring yet. We have our hat, robes, gloves, leggings. And that's what we look like right now. <laughs> kind of weird, but hey, at least we have... This one gives us armor and mana, armor and mana, armor and mana. And then our hat gives us a 20% chance to restore 8 mana when receiving damage. So if I receive Dana damage, I'll have a chance to restore my mana. We have the fire staff. So we are fully geared up right now. Geared up and ready to go. Your adventures. So... Gonna put some of this stuff away. Get away. So we don't have so much stuff in our inventory, you know what I mean? Oh, and speaking of which, we can make more portal storms. Luckily for us, that's instant. Yeah, we have a bunch of this uh, rooms and whatnot in inventory still. Get away. Um, so it's uh, very important to start sorting while you can find a uh, you know even early on maybe try to find a little base to sort yourself. The beauty of it is you can set here. Let me go to the map. So any any old place like okay. So here's this. This is the very first place you'll start out. Scars null. Um, so if you want to make your base and just Junction, <laughs> junction. You can click set as home, right? And so, no matter where you're at in the world, you click go to home, and it will take you there, right? Um, and so you can dump your stuff and then just fast travel back to wherever you were at. So it's pretty nice. Oh, and sometimes, you notice that's flashing. That means it's a special event. Turtle Hut. Level 16 area. I don't think I'm going to go there yet because, like I said, you have to be careful which areas you go to. Um, I'm only level 2 right now, guys. I'm a level 2. So, technically this area of Fort Finch is is good enough for me. It's actually one level ahead of me. I actually rather be, have it be that way. I'd rather be in an area where it's one level above uh, me so that way I get like the most experience, but also I'm not sitting there all day trying to kill the enemies. I can still kill them, you know, decent, decent amount of time and kill them. And here we're back to Fort Finch. Now, if you guys do this uh, on, in your own world, like I said, the fort is the same, but the surrounding area will be different because it's randomly generated. So it will look a little bit different to every person, which is kind of cool, like the random generation. Um, but yeah, when, when we get back, guys, uh, for the next episode, we're going to do a little bit more farming now that we're geared up, ready to go. Um, 
just want to say thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave it here for episode 2. And, uh, yeah, when we get back, we'll do some farming and try to level up. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Uh, come stop by anytime. I stream on Twitch every day. And uh, be sure to subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of the Dragon Fam. And, uh, as always, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye-bye.